It was the Hardy's Heroes with a difference. No Brocky or last year's pole winning Nissan, just wall to wall Sierras. The roll call told the real story. Seven Cosworth cuties, a glimmer of a Vimmer, and two robust Aussie V8s. The high profile Eggenberger Texaco team fronted three cars for the top ten, but only two will start today. Klaus Nietzwitz easily qualified the 12 car, while Steve Sofa put his Texaco star on the second row with a 218.6. Then it was time for the Grouse Rouse to cut loose in the ANZ Sierra he'll share today with Alan Moffat and Thierry Tassin. Hardy honours for 87 was reserved for one of the fatherland's finest, Klaus Ludwig. He scorched the mountain in 2 minutes 16.97 to pick up a cool $10,000. Ford's overseas invasion will be led today by baby-faced Brit Steve Soper. He last visited Bathurst three years ago as a member of the Mobile Rover team. The 35-year-old has been a cast member of Rudy Eggenberger's Ford Roadshow for two seasons. And he'll be ably backed today by Belgian journalist racer Pierre Dudonne, who would love nothing better than to create his own headlines. The second Texaco Cosworth has a touch of class about it. Herr Ludwig is a former Le Mans 24-hour winner, and partner Needsvitz will surely blitz if Rudy's rockets dance off into the distance. Ten seconds away from the start of the James Hardy 1087 World Touring Car Championship. Racing in the 87 Classic and getting away smartly. On the inside was Andy Rouse. Here's Grice making a run. And Perkins down the inside and Grice looking for it into the first corner. He's made up that gap he lost over the top of the mountain. And now sits on the bumper of the Texaco Ford Sierra. And here's the Grouse. Rouse making his move down the outside. Can he do it? Andy Medecki sits back in third spot. Grice just behind him. They've dropped back to 224.45, which is going to allow. And Sopra being passed by Rouse now as they head up towards the top of Mountain Straight. And I don't think Sopra's in very good shape at the moment for some strange reason. Trying to stay with Rouse, but unable to do so. Rouse really made a lightning move there as they came out of uh, Hell Corner. So Rouse has got uh, the lead again, and Sopa all that hard work to do once more. In the pit simultaneously, there's uh, Sopa. Dudonne, Pierre Dudonne now in the car. I want to know who helped him, and I think Andy Rouse is down there in the pits and has finally made it back there, so it'll be interesting to know just what happened to that car. It might be an idea as to what's going to happen to the other Sierras, perhaps. Klaus Ludwig, with a brilliant pit stop, according to our charts now, has gone through to take over the lead. Andrew Medecki in second spot. Steve Soper in third, so Sierra's still one, two, three. There's Rudy Eggenberger on the right with the headset on, talking to his driver. Here's the last lap board now for young Britain Steve Soper as he takes out on the last lap around Mount Panorama for the James Hardy 1000 1987. Still a two lap advantage over teammate Klaus Ludwig. There has been some controversy regarding the uh, the cars, as reported by Neil Crompton from the pits today. One of the BMWs coming up, taking advantage of Sofa, will not make a mistake. And looming in the different background, of course, is Peter Brock. To the top of Mount Panorama, heading up to West End Bend for the final time. Brocky pulls one lap back as he gets out of the way. Coming up to the fans on top of Mount Panorama. He sweeps through. Coming down to the Castrol Sand Trap. There are the fans giving him a tremendous cheer. As Sofa sweeps across. Heads down to the right-hander, down to the S's. Young Steve Soap has only had, he's had two seconds and two thirds in World Touring Car this year, but this will be his first win in World Touring Car Championship. Soper swings it back. Has a look over the shoulder. Heads down to Bridgestone Bridge for the final time. And the World Touring Car Championship for 1987 has arrived at Bathurst this weekend. The 1987 James Hardy 1000 
will go to Steve Soper of Great Britain in the Texaco Ford Sierra and he takes the checkered flag. Second place will officially go to his teammate Klaus Ludwig who will be two laps down in the number seven Eggenberger Ford Texaco Sierra and third place will go to Australia's Peter Brock in the Mobile Commodore. And all the Brock fans waiting for Peter Perfect to come across the line and he does just that what a reception. Well, I'd like to thank very much Eggenberger for producing a fantastic car, excellent reliability, the car run absolutely perfect from start to finish, and for Ford for employing me and being able to win this race. Thank you.